Okay, here we go then for our next race, the South Coast Honda Class. Lining up on pole position, we have Chris Weston. And in second place, Pete Ward. Third place is Joe Dickinson. And Charlie Herons in fourth. Third row of the grid, we've got Sam Crooks and Dane Blackburn. And on the fourth row, Gaz Roberts in seventh. Luke Bithell in eighth. Ninth and tenth goes to Ty Kinton and Patrick O'Connor, respectively. And in 11th, Ross Humphreys. William Lawrence is 12th place for this one. And Mikey Shuka is 13th. 14th goes to Michael Farada. And 15th, Greg Madero. Callum Ricketts joins Greg on that row, number eight, in 16th place. And down on row nine, Keir Armstrong in 17th. Joe Goggins, 18th. 19th place goes to Andrew Knight. And a second appearance of the day in 20th for Chloe Jones. 21st is Nathan Flanagan, lining up alongside Louis Webster in 22nd. 23rd is Scott Larkin. And on his row of the grid is also Aaron Howe. Leslie Noble lines up in 25th for this one, with Chris Cheshire in 26th. 27th, we've got James Edwards and Steve Ferguson in 28th. 29th goes to David Wales, Mike Edwards in 30th. Iliam Quayle in 31st, Andy Carter-Smith lines up this race in 32nd. Down in 33rd on the grid, we've got Callum Brown and Tom Lewis is in 34th. 34th. 35th goes to David Hall and 36th, Alan Cragg. Matt Wilkinson is 37th and starting 38th, is Matt Pierce, and last but not least at the back, we have Luke Beard starting 39th. The last five drivers there setting no time, but I am assured we have 39 drivers out for this one. It's the South Coast Honda Super Minis Ultimate, and we have a strong lineup for this one, Andrew. We have indeed. Keep your comments coming in. Uh, hello to Kale who I think is out in the United States. Uh, can't wait to see these super minis. Would love to build one, but my Grom is taking priority. Thank you for joining us, Kale, here today at Teesside Autodrome on the Alpha live stream. A few drivers there, just adjusting their position on the grid. Have we seen the grid girls? Have they been out for this one? I, I can't remember. Uh, hello to uh, South Coast Honda Racing as well, of course. Could not do this without their support there. Uh, wishing luck to team rider Dane Kent Blackburn. And uh, Dane's qualified very well, hasn't he? Sixth place for this first race of the year. There's his bike smoking at the back. Just gonna pick that up now with the camera. Not sure if they're supposed to do that. Seems to have uh, subsided now. Lots of support coming in for uh, Louis Webster as well, riding the 86. We spoke to Ty Kinton as well earlier uh, in the broadcast. Told us all about these super minutes. He starts from ninth place as well. Uh, he's quite humble. I think he's going to have a, a, a good race here. Is Ty? Be good to see. Uh, yes, Jim. Yes, it is riders, not drivers. Sorry, we keep getting. It's trouble when you get two karting commentators coming in doing a bike day. Apologies. Green flag is ready then for the riders and away we go in Super Mini for the start of their British Mini Bikes 2018 season. Chris Weston appearing to get away best there. Pete Ward keeping him honest in second place. Our front row of the grid looking hot. Filing down into turn two now and up over the reverse corkscrew. I think on this first Chris lap, Weston still in the lead from Pete Ward. 
It's a very good start for William Lawrence Wardle as well. I think there was a couple of drivers who struggled to get away, uh, sorry, riders who struggled to get away off the grid. We'll check that as they all come through. Yes, out in front, number 57, Chris Wesson, leads the pack into the chicane and through the parabolica. Looks like he's not getting away too quickly, though. Coming around to finish lap one, then, it is indeed the 57 of Chris Weston at the front. And trying to go around the outside there, that's a very audacious manoeuvre uh, by one of the riders there. But very close up at the front here for the South Coast Honda Super Minis. End of lap one, then. Chris Weston leads, Pete Ward second, Ty Kinton up to third place on the first lap. A fantastic start for Ty. Joe Dickinson fourth, Dane Blackburn fifth, Charlie uh, Herons in sixth place, Gaz Roberts seventh, then it's Luke Bithell, uh, Greg Badero and Sam Crooks, your top ten. Pete Ward there making a dive for the lead up the inside of Chris Weston. Chris Weston gets him on the cutback and now Ty Kinton takes second place off of Pete Ward. Great dice in there through the first part of the lap. And Ty Kinton, number 56, will follow number 57 into the asses. Well, the rider who didn't think he'd be up at the front today, it was one of those where I think he was being a bit quietly confident. And he had good right to be because here he is now, 10th to second place on, well, in one and a half. Oh, it's down. Two riders down. And, uh, well, one of the riders looking a bit hurt there. This, uh, this might be a red flag because you've got two bikes across the circuit there. Still racing for yes. now. Back up front, Ty Kinton has taken the lead. Chris Weston down in second place. Pete Ward in third as we cross the line, but red flag is out. Yep. Yeah, that's the right decision. And uh, emergency crews being uh, mobilised, but yes, uh, Ty Kinton had taken the lead at the end of lap two. A good start for him and a good start for our front row as well, Chris and Pete, who were up there in second and third at the end of that lap. Very indeed. So response crews uh, responding to this incident. It was uh, through the S's. I'm not going to speculate on the riders involved uh, as we don't know at this stage. But red flag here at Teesside Autodrome for the South Coast Honda Super Minis uh, in race one at the end of lap two. As we take a lovely look at the Middlesbrough countryside. So uh, here we go then. Grid will be formed up again under instruction from Alan. So, uh, I just can obviously see the ambulance crews out on the right-hand side. Uh, both drivers uh, had gone down. It looked like it might be uh, something like collarbone injuries or, or something of that nature. Both riders were conscious, but obviously in a severe level of discomfort. Uh, not a nice place to have an incident through those S's. It gets very, very tight, uh, even on mini bikes. Not a place that, well, I have to say, I haven't ever ridden a mini bike, so I wouldn't know, but I have had incidents myself through there in, uh, in go karts. It can get very, very tight very quickly in what is a very fast part of the circuit. And we're sure that the riders are in the good hands of the medical crews. You can see on that top right hand of the corner, riders just forming then back up onto the grid uh, for second attempt for this first race of the day for sup uh, for the super minis going to take a short break on the commentary here 
but keep watching the stream. We'll be back with the start of this race very soon. And just as you say that, Andrew, both riders involved in the crash are up and walking. Ah, good. Neither appears to be injured too seriously. Uh, can't speculate as to the exact nature of their injuries, but both are up and on their feet. Well, that's uh, that's one of the best pieces of news that we've had all day. If anything, he looks disappointed Annoyed. that his yeah. race is over. I, I can relate to that. More concerned about the state of his championship challenge than in the state of his anatomy. <laughs> A true racer. Yes. And yes, sneaking his way off the track with no assistance needed from a stretcher or even a helping hand. I think it's uh, Mikey Shuka, one of the uh, riders involved. But Mikey looks relatively okay there. As you, as you say, Jacob, he did look more annoyed than, uh, than hurt. So, track being cleared up, so obviously got to be careful to make sure there's no fluids down on that part of the circuit. As I say, it is a very, very fast part of, of this Teesside Autodrome course. Yes, do not be alarmed by the uh, emergency vehicles switching their lights on there to move off the track. It just makes them go faster. So riders will get ready then for the rest of this South Coast Honda Ultimate Super Minis race. First of two today. Uh, this is the, also the last race of the first round of all of our classes. So we'll go back to the top of the running order after this one and go through the uh, Junior SM90s again, then the Pit Bike Stock 160s, Mini GP 140s, Pit Bike Veterans, Junior SM65s, uh, Pit Bike Stock 140s, Junior SM 140s, and then once again to finish off the day with the South Coast Honda Super Minis. All riders who are continuing with this race appear to be back around on the grid. The man with the green flag heading out into the middle now. I believe we'll go for a standing start again, uh, as you can see. And away we go. Uh, no, I think we're going to have a rolling start then as riders set off. Warm up lap and. So I'm just going to come over what? with Luke, warm up lap and standing start. Thank you, Luke. So warm up lap just to check the track conditions, make sure everybody's happy, and then a standing start once again. And then this Super Minis race. Yes, let's hope they can pick up where they left off, because it was a very exciting start to this race. Pete Ward, Chris Wesson, and Ty Kinton challenging for the lead on there. A lot of support coming in for Ty on the Facebook comments. Thank you, uh, guys and girls. Keep your support coming in, keep your comments coming in. Keep sharing the stream as well uh, if you can on Facebook and other social media. If you're watching on YouTube as well, good afternoon. Hope you're enjoying your Easter Sunday. Uh, the weather, I can't quite believe this. I can say this being from the north as well. I can actually see blue sky today. That's not what I was expecting as we made the journey up to Teesside last night. I might have to get the sun cream out in a minute, Andrew. Right, is forming up this grid. There's a dog in the commentary box, Andrew. There is a dog in the commentary box. Probably, well, it's by the door. Ah. Right, we're just being told by Matt that the uh, the uh, root cause of the incident was one of the riders uh, having their engine seize as they're going through the S's. So, yeah, that's not a nice incident to have flat out in sixth gear at about 80 miles an hour. Yeah, it's possibly the worst place on track that that could happen, other than on the last lap when you're in the lead. Well, we're getting set then for uh, the second part of this 
Ultimate Super Minis race. Don't worry, uh, you haven't missed any of the second races. This is just the second attempt of race one for Ultimate Super Mini. We're away again here at Teesside Autodrome as the riders stream down to turn one to get this race back up on the way after the red flag. There they all go. And we'll try and pick them up as they come round. Looks to uh, me, the Andrew, bottom part of the Ward has made a dash for the lead. Yeah. Oh, and a little mistake there. Was that by uh, Chris Weston coming back round? So, I can Chris see Kinton's coming, coming through down. again in the on, on the 56. It's a good start again by Ty Kinton. Yes, I believe our leading pair are Pete Ward and Chris Weston again. The front row of the grid keeping themselves at the front of the pack. But this time, Pete Ward leads through the chicane and into the parabolica. But Ty Kinton is flying here. He's already up to third place. He's now challenging for second place. This is fantastic riding from Ty Kinton. He's now challenging Chris Weston there in the blue and white for second place. End of lap one then. It'll be uh, seven laps, I believe, now for this race. As Kinton trying to go round the outside, not able to do it through the double chicane there. But it's Ward from Weston, Kinton, Joe Dickinson fourth. Dane Blackburn still up there in fifth place. Charlie Herons in sixth place. Luke Bithell in seventh. Sam Crooks in eighth. Ninth place is Gas Roberts. And Greg Madero is in tenth. Pick up the leaders now, coming down the back straight. Pete Ward has a little bit of a gap, just length or two of a bike back to Chris Weston, who's under heavy pressure from Ty Kinton. Going into the first hairpin now. They really are line of stern. Weston doesn't quite get the run off there, and Ty Kinton is very, very close behind him. Looking for a move into the parabolica. I don't think he's close enough. Ward has a bit of a gap now, runs a bit wider than the other two on the exit of the Parabolka, coming into the hairpin, maintains his lead. Through the fourth hairpin now, we should see Ward taking the lead, and we have four laps remaining after this. We do indeed, good support coming in for Louis Webster as well, he's currently in 21st position and uh, starting to make his way up through the field. Meanwhile, back at the front, of the order here's your top four who've got away from the rest of the field it's ward weston kinton and dickinson on the start of lap four this is the second run of the ultimate super minis look at that weston having a little look at kinton kinton is now up to second place is that joe dixon getting involved it is indeed Fourth place Yes, he's very close behind. Yeah, in the white leathers. But pressure really being applied to Pete Ward on the number 32 bike now by Ty Kinton. Ty just seems to be able to hold tighter lines everywhere he goes, Jacob. Yes, he's got a lot of grip. He's a very experienced rider and seems to be using all that experience. Very tight ahead of the exit of the Parabolica. Yeah, I think he was looking for a uh, move on the brakes into hairpin three, but not quite that time. Can he get good traction? He's going to, oh, he's almost alongside uh, Ward as they come over start finish. Three laps to go then here at Teesside. This is fantastic racing in Super Mini. Just a second separating our top four. This could go either way. And Kinton on the inside, oh, has half a look there, but he might lose out here. He's got to get back on the power. This is immense pressure being put on Pete Ward. Is Ty Kinton going to try and get the cut back as they go onto the back straight? I think he has, Andrew. He's gone up the inside, and Ty Kinton takes the lead going into the S's. Pete Ward has a little look going into the first hairpin, but cannot get it back. Ty Kinton will hold it into the second hairpin followed by Pete Ward, Chris Weston in third, and Joe Dickinson still down there in fourth as they come through the chicane. Ty Kinton is firmly in the lead. Well, what a ride this is from Ty Kinton. Started 
uh, in the lower reaches of the top 10. But here he is now with two and a bit laps to go leading here at Teesside Autodrome. Yes, through that fourth hairpin then he will come round. Two laps remain. Ty Kinton leads this race. A track now fully dry. The sun is out. Everyone's smiling. And that track is going to produce some quick lap times. The grip is there to be taken. Now, what's the battle that we're looking at here? This is uh, this is all over about 12th place. I think I think uh, Michael Ferrada and Andrew Knight involved. Uh, the 414 involved there as well. That's William Lawrence Wardle, who's uh, fallen down the order a little bit. I, I think I remember him starting quite high up the grid. Quick shot there of our top four. Here's fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Dane Blackburn still riding really well as well. He's in fifth place, a bit of a lonely fifth place at the moment, but uh, could be there to pick up the spoils if any of the top four run into trouble. There's still your leader, though, Ty Kinton, who seems to be pulling Pete, uh, Pete Ward along now. Oh, so who's that in trouble? Looks like it's the 276. Oh, that's going to be Michael Ferrada, who was having a really good race up in the top 20. And someone else is down. Someone else is down on the approach to hairpin one. And uh, can't quite make out who it is. And it's, it's that been a change for the lead. the lead? Ward is back in the lead. Pete Ward, first place. He's taken the lead back off Ty Kinton. Going into the first part of the lap, Ty Kinton's going to look to take it back. Up the inside, he, he goes does. back into the lead. And we're on the last lap now for this first race of the day. This is brilliant stuff from the South Coast Honda Super Minis. Who's going to lead over the top of the mountain? Is it going to be Kinton? Is it going to be Ward? It's going to be Kinton, but they're side by side almost. Kinton coming down now into the... Oh, there's someone else is down at the bottom of the mountain. Into the asses, first hairpin. Ward is very close and obviously made a move here on the last lap. Can he do the same thing this time? Or is Ty Kinton going to be weary to him? Last third of the last lap then. Ty Kinton has this one under control for now, but can Pete Ward do anything about that? He's very, very close. He might have an opportunity into hairpin three. Kinton goes defensive. Can he get the move done into hairpin four he has half a look but no I think Ty Kinton's gonna have this he's gonna come round the final corner over the line Ty Kinton takes race one here at Teesside today what a race what a ride in, bo in both parts of the race Ty Kinton wins from Pete Ward Chris Weston in third Joe Dickinson in fourth Dane Blackburn very very nice ride into fifth place Gaz Roberts was sixth Luke, Bith Luke Bithel was seventh. Uh, Keir Armstrong up into the top ten with an eighth place there. Sam Crooks was ninth. Greg Madero wrapping out the top ten. Andrew Knights was eleventh. Tom Lewis twelfth. William Lawrence Wardle in thirteenth. Scott Larkin was fourteenth. Chris Cheshire in fifteenth. Good result for Chloe Jones in sixteenth in the top half of the field. Excuse me. Uh, Nathan Flanagan was 17th and then it's going to be uh, uh, the rest of the top 20. Mike Edwards gets 18th and it will be just ahead of James Edwards in 19th. Aaron Howe in 20th place and 21st was Leslie Noble. And, uh, well, that's going to bring an end to the first part of proceedings here today. All classes have completed uh, one race. And uh, we're going to end the stream for a very short period on Facebook. Uh, do keep tuned in for the start of the second stream for the second set of races this afternoon here from Teesside Autodrome. Uh, but thank you very much for uh, watching, supporting, sharing the stream here on Facebook, on the British Mini Bikes Facebook page. We will be, up, we will be back very, very shortly. Myself, Andrew Mather from uh, Double Dash Motorsport Media and Jacob Harris. This has been an Alpha Live production for the British Mini Bikes Championship. We will be back for the start of the second races very, very soon. Woo!
And uh, for anyone on the YouTube stream, uh, don't worry, you don't need to do anything. Uh, this part of the stream keeps going, uh, doesn't get reset. It's a Facebook thing as to uh, why we reset for the second part of the races. Uh, but uh, I think there's a very short break now before we go back into the second load of races. So again, Junior SM90s first, then pit, uh, pit bike stock 160s, Mini GPs, Veterans, JSM 65s, pit bike stock 140s. JSM 140s and then Super Minis again but you don't need to do anything uh, just keep it here on the Alpha Live YouTube channel for uh, the next set of races